Hey guys, welcome back to World of Tanks. It has been a good long while. And by that I mean in the region of five or six months, which is a bit ridiculous. Do apologise for that. It just happened that uh, the time I used to have for making videos has been occupied by other things, so yeah. Managed to find a bit of time recently, so I've got a few replays stocked up and a few more videos to come. Not, not too far away. Anyway, back to the game at hand. We are in our 87s. This is a replay from a good while ago. Don't have this thing anymore, but hey, it's a reasonable tank destroyer. It suffers the same problem as the British tank destroyer line. Kind of 88, 87 problem. Of the commander's tower. Which is unbelievably annoying as a weak spot on a tank, but you get used to it. And we're on Erlenberg. And yes, apologies for uh, replay bugs. As I said, this is old, so there will be some. Sniper mode's not going to be working. So yeah, on Erlenberg, just came round the west side of the map. Felt it was the best position for this tank. I mean, the eastern flank, not really the best kind of cover. At least here there's some buildings we can kind of use. So that was my logic there. Playing with Ross in this game, he's in his Black Prince. Taking a bit of a beating at the start. And whoa. Probably avoid sniper mode for the most part. Yeah, just kind of using this ridge line. Working it, seeing what shots we can pick up. Got a Black Prince that's down to a one hit kill. IS there, of which we miss completely. Not going to get a shot on him. That Black Prince though. He was asking for it. Unfortunately for him, got tracked outside cover. And there we go. I think we actually seen the wall get knocked down there. And that's why we fired before we could see the IS. But now that we've got him tracked in the open, great thing about the 87, the rate of fire. You can track someone, they're pretty much dead. And they ain't going to be repairing that without a repair kit to get away. So there we go, picked up a couple of kills. Heading up, going to see what else is parked on this ridge line. Still got some friends to back us up. Got a little Bert, little FV304 back there. And here we go. Anyways, we've got T25 slash 2. And this little ELC down there, I doubt he's going to come up and get us. But we're just backing up now, since we don't have any good shots. Get behind this dead type T-34, use him as cover. D-Max up here. See if we can take him out. I think his gun's probably the most dangerous. But the T-25 slash 2 is making a move on us, so we'll back up to this wall. And then kill him without any difficulty. I don't know what he was thinking there. He just It was as if he forgot we were there. I can't explain that one. We've got the ELC kind of going for a flank just now. Which is... I, I would say that's what you should be doing. It's definitely the best idea. We'll focus in front of us because turning around takes a good while. Finish off that T25 slash 2. Now we can turn around and defend ourselves. Fortunate it there does no damage. I think he's firing HE. But there we go, pick up the LC as he runs in front of us. If he'd managed to get around us, that could have potentially been game over. This is not a tank that you want to be getting flanked on. So, possibly a bit rash there by me diving down off the cliff, but... I felt it was better to chase the A43 onto the low ground and keep him running away because I can back up and use this tower. Whereas if I stayed in the high ground, you know, it's more difficult. If he backs off, and he'd turn left, could have someone else behind me. I felt it was better to chase him away so that I can reverse and keep the, the main force of the enemy on the same side as me. Keep them at the front. 
but yeah. May have been slightly over tactical thinking, but hey, they've got an art in the game, so we'll use the tower. A43 playing kind of smart here, not committing to the low ground, keeping his options open. What I'm doing here is trying to break, break contact, just get far enough away from them that we're not proximity spot spotting each other. And also get behind the main castle for cover from Arty. Nope. Looks like we're going in to force them to make a decision. But yeah, fortunately this thing, it does turn fast enough that we're going to be able to keep him occupied. He's not going to get around us. I'll just guarantee the kill going to sniper modes to get his commander's tower. It's nice to see other tanks with a commander's tower. Don't make it a unique feature of the British tank destroyers. So there we go, down to 3v4. And they've got a TD at our base. And there goes our heavy. Oh, DMAX shows up, making a break across here. Wow, that replay bug's annoying. Unfortunately, we couldn't get up the hill quick enough to get a shot on him. So we're going to keep chasing him, decide it's better to stop, turn around this way. Kind of stay on the same side as our FV-304, try and protect him. Because when you're outnumbered, keeping your numbers is quite important. Come round this way, find him sitting there. Didn't even get a shot off at us, which is strange. But the enemy is capping. And we are slow. Also very slow. So we should be okay. It's mainly open ground between us and the cap. KV1S on the bridge. Come out sniper no fight. Arty hits us. Takes our tracks, does a bit of damage. KV1S hits us, does a bit of damage. But we managed to maintain our health pool through most of this game. It's not too bad. Now we're faced with the choice of healing the... Oh, healing nobody. Didn't notice when I've used the health pack in this game, but we've got a dead driver and a dead gunner. It's always a difficult choice when you're in a slow tank. They're still capping. We're up to 80 now. There we go. FV304 spots him. Boom. Managed to finish him off. E25. Incredibly stealthy. And that's why it's a good thing to have this FV304 still in the team. Because there was no way I was getting close enough to spot that E25. And now I will save you the torture of watching this thing trundle across the map. Oh yeah. So here we go, logic in this situation, there's two of us, but I'm incredibly slow, I'm not going to find this artillery, if I do he can run away, I'm not going to be able to catch him. I'm not entirely sure what our friendly art he was doing, kind of going on that side, because um, the Bert doesn't have the best range. So yeah, going for cap. Don't like to do it, it's annoying, I would like to get the 10th kill, you know, pulls medal, always nice. Still haven't managed to get one myself, but the situation, down to 2 minutes 40 left in the game, really need to cap. Best case scenario brings the RT out, which apparently it did, but uh, we didn't spot him. Yeah, best case scenario, the RT comes out to see where we are and take a shot, and then we can kill him, but... Yeah, not likely. And that is the downside of these tanks, too slow to chase things. And unfortunately, the RT is not going to come out to find us, so that will be the end. So here's the tally for that one. As you can see, we got ourselves from left to right, 
a Radley Walters medal, a Top Gun medal, a Steel Wall medal, a High Caliber medal, a Defenders medal, and an Invaders medal. All in one game. That That's a rarity. Not usually going to get that much in one game. But, uh, aye. Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good rake in there. But, as you can see, still only good enough for a first class medal. That's, that, that annoyed me. I'm going to admit it. I'm going, to, I'm going to just put that out there. That bothered me. Um, base XP, 1,295. And, yeah, first class. Don't know what you need for a mastery badge for an ace tanker in this tank. I still don't think I've got it. Um, but, known my luck, it'll be like 1,300 or something. But, hey, need to live with that. Oh, dear. So, there we go. 2,387 damage altogether. Yeah, not much else to say. 90 cap points, 90 defence points. Aye. Luckily it fell on times 5 for the day, so boosts up to 6,475, and this was way back when they were doing the Operation Super Purging. So it was a, a nice bonus to plough my way through that. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. It's uh, good to be back to making videos for the meantime. Uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will catch you on the next one.